Hey, I'll be honest with you right now. The three of us, we don't know where Matilda is. We didn't do nothing. Matilda's whereabouts were not known at this time this week. Uh, I would take some drastic steps. Certainly, Mr. Tunney. Some decision had to be made. I know your office feels like that. I feel the Islanders are responsible for Matilda's disappearance, so I'm going to uh, do what I, I hate to do this to a wrestler. However, I'm going to deprive them of making a living. Oh. They are going to be suspended indefinitely. Wow, isn't that a bit harsh, a suspension? Um, it has to be done. All right, now, is there some period where you're going to lift the suspension? When will you make that decision, Jeff? Uh, as soon as Matilda's whereabouts are known. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me join my guest at this time, the esteemed president of the World Wrestling Federation. Had little or no effect. I've never seen Andre the Giant so incensed. Look at this. Andre. Keep getting yourself in deeper and deeper, don't you, boy? And that's not all, Monsoon. As a result, this is what happened after that. So oh. you sit here and you get the people and everybody ready and watch what the brain's up right, to now. Right now, let's go to Greg DeGeorge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my guest at this time. First of all, the bodyguard Virgil. Andre, will you deliver to me the million dollar man, the World Wrestling Federation heavyweight title? Mr. DiBiase, I will tell you one thing. I will deliver that belt, the World War Wrestling Federation. <laughs> well, that really takes the cake. Obviously, the Million Dollar Man had a second plan in mind. I can't believe that you would stoop, Bobby the Brain Heaton, to money to give Andre the Giant to Ted DiBiase. Maybe I'm not done pulling off little surprises for you and the humanoids and for everybody else. I got a mission in life, and Hogan's one of them. How will <laughs> that ever bring the title to you, dummy? Stick around. Unless we knew the whereabouts of Matilda King. People saw Andre the Giant put Hulk Hogan to the mat for a Federation heavyweight champion, Hulk Hogan. What I saw, what was on his back? Boy, oh boy. Go to horse run. And by the way, I can't tame a few of those little feelings out there. If you don't know, do something, that's not what I want to talk about right now. Look. What is the law? Get off me. Here. Love me. Really? Sure. Harlem, uh, certainly one of the more beautiful sections, geographically, of all of New York. All the hills, the wide avenues. Matter of fact, my father was born in Harlem. But this man right now, Bad News Brown, is going to work on Brady Moon. We had an occasion to talk with Bad News Brown earlier on about his debut in the World Wrestling Federation. What can we expect from Bad News Brown? There's only one thing you've got to remember. What I learned on the streets of Harlem as a young boy. You have to know what the law is all about. And the law is, I take no prisoners and I give no mercy. Well, that's pretty direct and to the point, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Bad News Brown. Look at that, uh, look no at this thing. No mercy, no he says. Mercy. Ooh, with a headbutt. Mm. No no he mercy. looks like a mean, angry man, don't he? he? Does. Like he's mad at the yeah, world. That's right. No really. Well, he probably had a rugged childhood, Bruno. Yeah, so what? This. Big deal. A lot of people have. Bad news Brown, all over Brady Boone. Well, I'll tell you, normally Brady Boone makes some type of showing in any matches in, but so far he's shown oh, no goodness. offense. Wow. Oh, you think that did it? I do. Bad news Brown. Look at him yelling. Look, look at this. Look at it. Look, look. What is the law? Get up. Here is your winner, Bad News Brown. Bad News Brown. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Poor Brady. Fines, as we've seen. Yes, but when he's wrong, he's wrong, and he admitted he was wrong to me and reinstated the Islanders. No, he made a no. mistake. No, he didn't admit he was wrong. You did exactly what he wanted you to do. To the match. Was I counted out early in the match? All these questions will be answered this Friday night. I, more than you, Andre the Giant, want this rematch. And Andre, if I get my way, you're going to be the shortest investment in Ted DiBiase's financial career. 